Hi, I'm Chris. And Cassie. And do you find yourself metal detecting in an open field like this? Okay, so I guess I'm guilty of that too myself in the past. Uh, about 15 years ago, I started metal detecting a couple of Boy Scout uh, camps that I had uh, permission to do. And, um, you know, these were big fields that they were camping in. Uh, and they were early camps. They started in the 1920s. So I knew that there were some silver coins around. And, um, you know, I'd, I'd get into the field one day, I'd metal detect all day long, and I'd come back the next, and I'd, oh, geez, I thought I was in here already, you know, in this area. How did I, how did I miss this or that? Well, I, I came up with a plan on how to solve that. Uh, I got me some string and a spool to put it on. And it's, a, it's orange, so I can see it in the grass. And I would lay it out. And my swing is about three feet wide, three and a half feet wide. And so I would lay the string down. And I would, one thing to keep your coil flat to the ground at all times. And I would stay between the lines and I'd work from one end of the field the other, and I'd overlap, you see how I'm overlapping my coil swing, and I would dig everything. It didn't matter what it was, I, I would dig it. So once I got to the other end, I would turn around, and I'd go back. And there again, you know, you'd think, well, geez, I, I should have caught that, but if a coin is laying in the ground, you know, one way, and you're going towards it like that, when you turn around and go back the other way, you'll have, you stand a better chance of picking it up. So once you're done with that, going from one end, turn around, coming back, pick up your string, move it over three feet. There you go. Okay, start at the one end again, go across, turn around, and come back. Once you get done with the field all the way down to the other end, then what do you do? I thought, well, maybe I still didn't do it quite good enough. So I took my strings and I turned them 90 degrees and I went this way. And then I would just move it across the field that way. By the time I got done with that field, going over it four times, twice this way, twice this way, I would guarantee that just about anybody could go in there and not find you know, 10 items the whole day in that whole field. So, okay, so now you're done detecting and you've been at it for a few hours, eight hours, 10 hours. I've been, I do it 12 hours some days. What do you do? You pick up your strings. I could leave my strings there because I was the only one detecting at the time in the field. The Boy Scouts were done for the year and uh, I could just leave my strings there. But if you wanted to mark your area, take some ribbon, stick a nail through the center of it, stick it in the ground where you know you got a, where you stopped on both ends, pick up your string and go home. The next day, you can go right back to your ribbon in the ground and start going again because you should know that, well, I got to keep going that way. So I, I hope this helps you out. I know it helped me out a lot. I mean, there, there was very little ever left behind after I got done. And I found a lot of silver coins, a lot of silver rings, some gold jewelry. Uh, and I, I really think that doing it this way is going to be a good place So I hope it does help you out. Give, hope you give it a try. Uh, I hope you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the like button. Join us on Facebook at All Things Wild. Look